Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video on how to find the IP address of your B179 conference phone. Couple things about the IP address of the B179. First is out of the box, the B179 defaults with DHCP enabled. So the assumption is that it will get its IP address from a DHCP server. That will not always be practical, so there'll be times we're going to have to statically assign it, but the assumption is most of the time it'll get its IP address from a DHCP server. So why do we need to find that IP address? Well, on a new install, you have to find it so you can basically do the necessary integration via the web pages so it can register to a SES or a session manager. Or you may need to find it because your administrator and or support person, they need that IP address so they can log in to the phone itself so they can perform whatever support functions are required. So now we're going to go through how you find it via the phone. So as you can see, the phone is up and running. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the menu button, which is in the center there where my finger's at. That brings us to this page where profiles is in bold. And we're going to press the arrow up key, which will wrap it around. And that brings us to status in bold. And we're going to press the OK button on the far right. Accounts comes up in bold. And we're going to press the arrow down key till we get to a network. As you can see, network is in bold. So we're going to press the OK button. And it comes up and tells you the status of DHCP and what the IP address of that phone is. At this time, you would write this down and you would give it to your administrator or the support person that you're working with. You have the option to either press menu and return, or you can scroll through by pressing the OK button. We're going to scroll through by pressing the OK button on the right. The next thing we would see is the host name, and we would see the domain if it was input. In this case, it's not been put in yet. We pressed OK again, and we see what our subnet mask is and what our default gateway is. Those are things, again, also that your administrator may need. We would see our DNS IP addresses if they were filled in. In this case, they are blank or empty. So we're going to press the OK button. And we see that VLANs are disabled. VLANs come disabled. The only way you can enable a VLAN is via the web pages or with your XML file. So I pressed OK again. It brings me back to the first page. Again, if you didn't write down that IP address for your administrator or the support person, write it down. And the next step will be to press menu to return to the phone screen. As you can see, we return to the phone screen once we pressed menu. And now we can actually either HTTP into the phone ourselves and configure it for integration with SES or session manager, or our administrator or support person can HTTP into the phone and do whatever necessary admin and or troubleshooting steps are required. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Again, thank you for choosing Avaya.